tell brand new stories. Which is why I am so excited to announce we are building a villain's land at the Magic Kingdom. that you know and those that you loathe. Which means happily ever after may feel like just a distant dream. It'll have two major new attractions. It'll have dining and shopping and so much more fiendish fun for you to explore. This is storytelling on a grand scale that only Disney can deliver. So be prepared, you poor unfortunate souls. It's going to be a fearless new vision for what a Disney experience can be. And you're excited, I can tell. The new nighttime spectacular coming to Disneyland Paris, it will be the latest example of how we continue bringing stories to life at this incredible destination. We've reimagined both the Disneyland Hotel and the Art of Marvel Hotel, and the results, I think, are spectacular. Now we're transforming our second park in Paris, which began with the introduction of Avengers Campus. We'll tell the next chapter in that transformation story with the world of Frozen. <laughs> this is where you'll travel to Arendelle and spend time with Anna and Elsa, Olaf, and all of their friends. Uh, great, we've got some great news to share with all of you today. Our new Frozen Land will open in 2026. Wow. As you know, along with this debut comes the park's new name, Disney Adventure World. And we'll celebrate this new name with a nighttime spectacular that only Disney could create. And I'm excited to tell you that we have a brand new show that will debut in 2026 on the park's new lake, Adventure Bay. This will be a 360 degree experience featuring fountains, music and water screens, lasers, you'll have illuminated drones, and of course, we'll have original music. Adventure Bay will be the gateway to all the different worlds in the park. And that includes a story that I know that we've all loved for the past 30 years. So as our friend Rafiki would say, it is time. Everybody, we're creating a major new Lion King attraction for Disney Adventure World in Paris. There is a lot of excitement around the Lion King right now. The original movie is celebrating its 30th anniversary. And our attraction, it'll be based on this animated classic. First, you're going to have a chance to explore the Pride Lands and the new area of the park with dining. It'll have to shopping, it'll have, you'll have a chance to meet some of the favorite characters. And then when you're ready, you'll head down into the caves beneath Pride Rock to follow Simba from Cub to King. It'll feel like you stepped right into that movie. Tonight I'm happy to announce Bruce's team is bringing to life our first major attraction based on Encanto. So Bruce, what can you tell us here? What can you tell us about the story with the Madrigal? Yeah, well, actually, this is really cool. Uh, so when you walk up to Casita, a whole house will feel alive just like in the film. Another reveal for tomorrow. Head over, head over to our pavilion at the, uh, at the, uh, at the center because we're going to have the, uh, the convention center. That's where it is. <laughs> it was there all day. No, it's great. Uh, but we have actually a beautiful model of Casita and the entire land on display. So you got to go check that out. <laughs> All right. Now let me tell you about what's going on inside this event. We're arriving on the day Antonio receives his magical gift, which I'm sure you all remember, allows him to communicate with animals. And we're going beyond the movie story with our attraction. Casita has magically brought furniture to life 
for us to journey through the various rooms in the house, ultimately ending up in Antonio's room, which has been transformed into a rainforest. There we'll hang out with Antonio and all his animal friends. And of course, along the way, we'll bump into, you know, Mirabelle and some of the other members of the family, like, you know, perhaps one famous uncle. We are you know, all right. Uh, we, we, get, we get the message on that one. Uh, so this is going to be a classic Disney attraction. It's oh, yeah. a type of storytelling that Imagineers have been creating for, for 70 years. Yeah. Right? And, and they finished all their research trips. They finished all their designs and all the prep work. Now it's time to start building, which is why I'm pleased to announce that this, this attraction will debut along with Indiana Jones and the entire land in 2027. I don't know about all of you guys, but the first time I saw Monsters, Inc., all I wanted to do was zoom through the door vault like Mike and Sully, right? excitement and imagineering for the land. As we develop the next generation of Disney experiences, we're always looking for new ways to tell the stories that we all love. Which brings me to Frontierland of the Magic Kingdom. The, America, the American West has always been about keeping your eyes on the horizon, believing in yourself and carving your own path and striving towards success. That goes for miners in the mountains, bears in the country, maybe a princess from the bayou, or a race car from the big city. That's why I'm happy to announce we're inviting Mater and Lightning McQueen to a reimagined section of Frontierland. We're leaving Radiator Springs behind and we're heading off into the wilderness with two new cars attractions. The first attraction is a thrilling race rally across the frontier. Here you get to climb the mountain trails, you dodge geysers, splash through mud holes as you take on the terrain. So you better bring your off-road tires for this one. And since we know how much young children love the old cars crew, our second attraction is geared especially for our smallest racers, something that the whole family can enjoy. The Imagineers have been planning for this for a while with construction on this new cars area that will begin early next year. And this is going to bring some new energy to Frontierland as we continue to grow and evolve the story of what it means to explore the American wilderness. All right, Allie, listen, thank you for, for being here. So what can you tell us about the, the new Avatar destination that we bring into California Adventure? Well, Josh, like you said, we're taking our guests to a whole new location on Pandora. As all of you know, our land in Florida is set in a rainforest amongst the floating mountains in the Morara Valley, which to me feels just like we're stepping into the first Avatar film. For our new destination, we're inspired by the second movie, The Way of Water, as well as the upcoming Fire and Ash, and future Avatar films. Yeah. And it will be at a scale and at a level that is worthy of these epic stories. One thing I'm particularly looking forward to is an in innovative new attraction that will bring all the action, all the excitement, and all the wonder of Avatar to life in a completely new and thrilling way. We'll invite our guests to take the adventure of a lifetime as we join an excursion in search of majestic natural wonders that can only be found on Pandora. It's quite an image back here. And Allie, I, I love that we're seeking out 
new places in this world to explore. Absolutely. Along the way, we'll discover dense forests full of incredible animals and bioluminescent flora, taking us all the way to the wide open seas of Pandora. But while this world can be beautiful, if we lose our way, it can also be dangerous. <laughs> right? This is going to be a dynamic, intense, and emotional experience on a grand scale that we know our guests, all of you, are going to love. They are.